think up next, the NIT. Let's start at 4 o'clock Pacific on ESPN. This is Tuesday from the Garden, Western Kentucky against Utah. Pick them, 139.5. The total of the NIT semis. We have four competent teams. All had to win their last game on the road to get here. Western Kentucky, Penn State, and Mississippi State had to win back-to-back -back road games and won a season for Western Kentucky. Second year with Rick Stansberry. Only one returning player on the entire roster. Had to replace two assistant coaches. Justin Thomas is a big-time player with 15 points per game and nine rebounds. But you brought in a ton of transfers. Thompson, who was at Tennessee and Virginia. Colby, who was at Ole Miss in Kansas. Uh, another kid from Buffalo. But this was they were right there to make the tournament. They, they, they blew out Marshall twice, killed them the last time they played, but Marshall got them in the Conference USA title game. Think about what Rick Stansbury actually did this year. We're talking about one returning player on the entire roster, Polly. Not yeah. like in the starting lineup, on the roster. Oh, by the way, and he lost two assistant coaches in the offseason. And oh, by the way, it's not like he's got this big network. You know, he's been here for ages. Only his second year on the job. He's coached bigger programs than this one. Many bigger programs than this one. <laughs> you know, so to see him and see West Kentucky. And again, the, the returner was a really big time talent. Justin Thomas, uh, he's a big time player. You know, what, 15 and a half points, nine and a half rebounds per game. But you talk about the three transfers, you know, and from big time program. You know, kids coming from Virginia and Kansas and even Buffalo, who's winning NCAA tournament games these days. And the two frosh in Hollingsworth and Anderson have both been impact players. So now you're talking about a rare team. Five different players averaging more than 11 points per game. And you're talking about chemistry that developed over the summer. They had an off-season trip to Costa Rica, where they all got playing time. And then, of course, they had that tournament in the Bahamas early on, where they played Nova, Purdue, and SMU when SMU was healthy. They went 2-1 and one in those games. Only lost to Villanova by eight. That gave them the confidence. And, of course, you talked about what happened in the <laughs> CUSA title game where Western Kentucky, who had rolled Marshall, what, by 36 points in the two regular season meetings, they lost by one yeah. point in the conference tournament. This is a team on a mission. I have no interest in stepping in front of Western Kentucky, even against a team like Utah. All right. Yeah. Elmore was terrific in that game for Marshall. It was bombs away as they got the win. Kristoviak doing a nice job at Utah. Uh, he also rolled the dice with a transfer. Bibbins, who I like, the guard from Long Beach State, averages 14 points per game, shot 44% from three. Will they have Colette, who just had a kid on Friday as they had the big win in overtime against St. Mary's? He only played 14 minutes uh, in, in that game as they gutted it out with the win in overtime on the road. Could be a distraction as he had the kid as well. Kids keeping you up all night, Ted. You know about that, right? So that's something to look at as well. Check his status coming up tomorrow and uh, see how many minutes he plays and what Kristoviak is, what he says, talking about that as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. First week with a kid. First week, first kid. Uh, it, yeah. You can call that a little bit of a distraction, most assuredly. Yes. Colette yeah, is, is, is questionable here, but of course, if he's out of town, it may not matter. If he's in New York City, it may not matter, but he is a question mark here as of this moment, not sure, A, if he's going to play, B, how effective he's going to be. That's something you want to read your local news sources as you uh, approach tip-off on Tuesday. That being said, even if he plays, I'm not convinced you get A game, David Collette. First couple days with a baby, you're not sleeping that much either. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.